Hi. Maria, happy birthday. Um, I'm a little bit late on getting this to you, and I hope that my video doesn't freeze up like last time, because that was kind of annoying. It was, oh, and then I kept moving about every 30 seconds. But I love you, and your video made me really, 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 really smile really big, and you have cute dogs. Dags. Dags. I wish I had a dag. Um, I'm, it's actually 1 p.m., but I look like I just woke up. I'm trying this thing where I'm growing a beard, but it's only like a weekend, so it's got like that patchiness still. So I'm hoping in about two weeks when I come back from Taupo, which is a lake, that it'll be like impressive, or at least sort of kind of homeless. Because I think that actually the look that I associate most with is homeless person. And then I like to surprise people with my wit and charm, which really isn't there in the first place. I love seeing California again. That was nice. That was very Fresno. Just farm and orchard and yep. That was pretty much the scene of my middle late childhood. Um, your dad's are cute. I would live with you in that house, and I would love it forever. Um, I'm just sitting here, and I. You read Silence of the Lambs, and you finished it before I did, and I thought I was all impressive reading 20 chapters in one day, and then life has gotten in the way, and now I'm, like, only on chapter, like, I think, 45, which means I'm almost done, but I'm, like, three days behind you on finishing it, and I'm like, oh, crap, now she's going to think that I'm a slow reader. No! So, um, great book. I've never seen the movie, and I've never read the book. I mean, I've heard about it because I have a lot of knowledge in pop culture and stuff, but I've never actually seen it. So to actually, like, you know, grasp it, and I can't believe that I haven't, you know, grabbed onto it for so long because it's right up my alleyway. I mean, entomology and serial killers and thrillers and... You know, moth. Oh my god, all the moth dialogue. I like, I wrote down like all the moth quotes on my arm, and then I think I'm pretty sure I masturbated to it later. Um, fucking love moth. Oh, moth. And then it talks about my favorite moth, which is Acherontia Styx, which is, yes, named after the two, um, rivers, two of the three rivers in, uh, the underworld, or with Hades in Greek mythology. And just, everything just, it, 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 it's like a giant literature word blowjob. I love this book. Anyway, so we'll have to read Red Dragon after I'm done with this. Um, I went to the library trying to find it and it was on loan, so actually that's another reason why I'm reading this a little bit slower, because I'm hoping that by the time I finish it, which will be probably today, that when I go and actually check out Red Dragon from the library, it will be there. Um, Happy birthday! You're 22. I can't believe that you're older than me. I always feel like I'm old, and then I realize that I'm like freakishly young, and then you guys are like 22, which means you're like that much like older than me. But like in my mind, you're just like extensions of my soul. Does that make sense? So the idea that you guys are actually older and have maybe more life experience or wisdom or whatever maturity, like bogs my brain. And I go, wait a second, this isn't, this isn't natural. I do a lot of neck movements, and I think that that's why I pull my jaw out. Like, when I go, ah, and I make the noises, I actually, like, pull, and I strain a muscle in my jaw. And I've been going for four minutes, and I haven't really said anything of substantialness, except for that you have really cute dogs, you have really cute cheekbones, um, I love you as a person. I'm still working on all your guys' packages, but life is just, like, kicking me. And I'm like, oh, I need to go to the immigration, or oh, I need to sign up for this class, or oh, I need to go cry in a public restroom. And, yeah, so, it, they're coming, but I'm slow and worthless. I think what really freaks me out is when I grow facial hairs in my mustache, because look at that. It's like, I don't know, it just makes me look stupid. Like, I would do the thing where, like, I would have no mustache, and it would just be a beard, and then, like, Abraham Lincoln, or, like, big mutton chops. But every single time I do that, people are like, yeah. and then my wife beats me, and I'm like, Aah. and then I really do cry myself to sleep. Um, oh, uh, what? Oh. Yes, because you know how we were talking about notebooks? So I bought myself seven new notebooks. I have 
Oh shit, don't don't go to sleep on me. Oh messages from my phone. So I have entomology notebook. Woo, entomology. And then I have Okay, Jesus Christ, I get it. Oh, it's my entire in laws texting me and saying happy fourth of July. They just realized it was the fourth of July here. Like I'm really an American who gives gives that much about and so here's like my species, so here's all my information that I've actually gathered from dissecting bagworms so far. And so I actually write down the species and then I take notes and then drawings and actually like I'm gonna glue the cocoon and stuff in there. So there's that. Um and then I have another one, which is origami fun facts. And then I have another one, which is um, entomology field tactics, so like how to trap certain insects, when to look for them, what food that they eat, um, chemicals that you can use to like mount them, acid-free pens, so a lot of entomology crap. Um, entomology textbook, entomology field guide, um, botany book, botany book, botany book, mycology book. Mycology is the study of funguses. I know a lot of people call it fungology, which is acceptable, but myco, because funguses are split into two groups, um, mycozoans and uh, zungarians or something like that. Anyway, actually that sounds like a Godzilla monster. Anyway, but, so funguses, that's cool too. Um, what else do I do? Uh, I bought a lot of things to make my origami notes, and so I, I do a lot of birds, but I'm still trying to do more origami stuff, but I'm shit at it, because like, the complex folds, I always screw up. And then I feel sad. But then I think, ah, one of these days when I, when I'll be able to master them and me and I can make a bunch of origami notes. And now I'm talking really fast because I'm nervous and I realize I'm being stupid. So, um, I'm going to stop. And hammer time. No. Um, yeah, I'm just going to stop. But I love you. You're very pretty. Your dogs are cool. Happy birthday. Boobies. Um, what else do I do? Poop. And, um, other Josh things. Um, okay. I'm done. Okay.